Five simple plumbing tips that will save you thousands of dollars. Have you ever had to call a plumber? It happens around this time every year. During the holiday season, it is inevitable that someone will have a plumbing emergency when the entire family is over for the big holiday meal. It is probably the busiest season for plumbers because drains are stopped up, toilets are overflowing, and garbage disposals are breaking left and right. These situations remind me of a scene from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Just imagine you are about to carve the turkey and water starts leaking from the ceiling into the mashed potatoes, the gravy, and then ruins the meal that you have been slaving over all week. I hope your New Year's resolution is to be more proactive and to prevent any plumbing problems before Uncle Eddie comes over to dinner. So for the next few minutes, you'll discover how five simple plumbing tips could save you thousands of dollars this year. Don't you just hate it when you have to invite the plumber to the Christmas dinner and it costs you more than your whole meal? I recently spent $220 US for a plumber to do 15 minutes worth of work. Ouch! If I had known these five simple tips, I might have been able to keep my wallet from taking such a beating. Tip number one, pre-holiday home plumbing inspection. Expecting many guests this season? Having a pre-holiday plumbing inspection will ensure your fixtures are ready for extra use from visiting family and will help you avoid any major problems that could arise over the holiday. Tip number two, the garbage disposal is not a trash can. You know you're going to have a lot of food left over after the big holiday meal, but this does not mean you can throw just anything into the garbage disposal. You want to avoid throwing poultry bones and skin, fruit or vegetable peels, and corn husks into the disposal. This will clog the unit in no time. Tip number three, don't put grease down the drain. Avoid pouring fats, oils, and grease down your drains this season. When these substances go down the drain, they will harden, causing your sewer pipes to clog faster than Uncle Eddie's arteries. You want to run plenty of cold water when you use your garbage disposal and run it for 30 to 60 seconds after the disposal is off. Cold running water pushes waste down the drain easier. Also, avoid using hot water to melt grease because it will solidify and clog the drain. Plumbers recommend not putting oil or fat into the drains, period. Instead, wait for it to cool and solidify, then discard in an old milk jug or a trash bag. Tip number four, toilets clog easily with the additional guests in your home. Your toilets will be working overtime. Encourage family and friends not to flush cotton balls, swabs, feminine products, hair or facial scrub pads down the toilet. These items will not dissolve and will cause clogs. Choosing the right brand of toilet paper can save you a fortune down the road. Remember, I recently paid $220 US to have my main drain line unblocked? It took all of 15 minutes and then my cash and the plumber were gone. He did leave me a great tip though. He said I should switch to Scott's brand of toilet tissue. This brand is designed for septic systems and breaks down easily. It is the brand he uses and yes, he is on city plumbing. Apparently, plumbers do not want to have to snake their own drains. If you are curious about the Scott's brand of toilet tissue, I will leave an affiliate link in the video description area below. You will not pay more for the product, but I will receive a small commission if you get it from the link, so I thank you for that. Tip number five, just say no to chemicals. In the do-it-yourself fashion, I tried to unclog my drain with liquid plumber. I failed miserably to dislodge the giant wad of old Charmin toilet paper blocking the four inch main sewer line. My plumbing snake was too small and with my head bowed in defeat, I made the call. The plumber I called was from Roto Rooter. Since they snaked the main sewer line, it came with a free camera analysis of my main sewer pipe. The plumber said the pipe looked good and to stop using Drano, liquid plumber, or any other kind of chemicals if I wanted my cast iron pipe to last. He told me he recently replaced a main sewer line on a house similar to mine and it cost the homeowner $24,000 US dollars to redo the main line. So no more chemicals for me. To save a few bucks in the future, I'm going to rent one of those plumbing snakes from my local rent center Okay, let's do a quick review of the five simple tips that will save you thousands of dollars. Tip number one, 
Schedule a pre-holiday home plumbing inspection. Tip number two, the garbage disposal is not a trash can. Avoid throwing poultry bones and skin, fruit or vegetable peels, and corn husks into the disposal. Tip number three, don't put grease down the drain. Plumbers recommend not putting oil or fat into the drains, period. Instead, wait for the oil to cool and solidify, then discard in a milk jug or a trash bag. Tip number four, toilets clog easily. Remember to encourage family and friends not to flush cotton balls, swabs, feminine products, hair or facial scrub pads down the toilet. Also, using Scott's brand of toilet tissue will lessen the chances of future clogs. Tip number five, just say no to chemicals. Stop using Drano, Liquid Plumber, or any other kind of chemicals if you want your pipes to last. Armed with these five simple plumbing tips, you should be able to prevent a plumbing emergency and have a great start in the new year. I wish you the best of luck.